Hello. Hello. Welcome to Warrior Wednesday, ladies. Come on in. Chanel. Chanel is always ready. I love it. Yes, Chanel. Yes. Hey, Chanel. Get her first. Yes. <laughs> we gotta get her something in. The first one in. We miss you guys. She loves her Wednesday. She said, I love Wednesdays. I know that's right. Yeah. Yes, I do too. I do look forward to this time. Hey, Angelina. Yes. I do look forward to this time. Come on in, share, start your watch parties. It's going to be good tonight. I'm trying to start mine on here. I always forget to do it. Um, okay, where do I go? So, question: Does it automatically like when people on your page do they see it when it starts? Yeah, they should. They do. They hey, Camille. Hey, Camille. <laughs> From Atlanta, checking in. Just all right. Hey, rain. rain. Rain, are you back in the area or are you still home? Are you still in uh, at your home town? Where are you? We miss you. How are you, Arena? Are you back here? Hey, Jen. Jen. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. Yes, we're going to talk tonight about off the talking us off the ledge. So come on in. This is going to be good tonight. Yeah, I've been yeah. Oh, Rain is in the area. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Yes, I did know that. Mm, I forgot you did text me. Well, I didn't know. So I wanted to ask. So no, I was saying it to myself. I was like, yay. And I was like, wait a minute. I knew that, but yeah. So come on in, ladies. Let us know you ready to get this conversation started. Um, share and um, with your friends, your girlfriends, as we talk tonight about talking us off the ledge. Um, a lot's going on, <laughs> um, and we all feel very differently, but all have a common theme of how we feel. But um, come on in, come on in so we can get started. Um, yes, come on it in. Looks like Stacy just got in and Aunt Carla. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. They on the watch party. Hey, hey Raven. Oh. Raven's here too. Hey, Raven. <laughs> okay. Yes. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Um. Oh, Jessica, you want to start talking about? Oh, yes. So while we wait for more people to come on, but for the ones who are on, did you all see the verses with Fred Hammond and Kirk Franklin? Yes. Did y'all yes. enjoy it? Needed it. Yes. Needed it. <laughs> I did. I put it up on the screen. I put it up on the yes. uh, yeah, screen. And, um, so I was doing other sense. things while I was grooving to the songs. Hey, Carla. The sound was really good. Comparatively oh, to yeah. hearing with the yeah. other verses, the other verses. Thing, this, the sound was bomb. So it was like, okay, this was enjoyable because it was yeah. The sound was really quality, so I'm 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 really happy about that. That's what I I, I think it worked too because they were in the same spot. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Was kinda, yeah. I was like, y'all have been living together. So. Were they in Houston? Were they in Texas? They're in um Dallas. Dallas. Okay. In Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. He lives in Dallas. They're in Dallas, but Fred was on the radio and he said that he was going to Kirk Franklin's uh, studio though, so that they wouldn't have the sound issues that other people have had though. Right. Uh, oh, okay. That was really smart. That makes sense. But they, I mean, you yeah. know, after so many bad ones, the, you finally got to get it right. You like you gotta hey. get it right. You learn from the people <laughs> from the past. Yeah. That's what we <laughs> How we not going to do it. But, yeah, it was hard. but you know, when it's hard when you're on these things because you're on different inner, you know, different internet um, bandwidth or things like mm -hmm. that. It's going to be that delay. Um, and music comes out differently. Um, I know when I'm when we're here recording, I'm in the other room. I can hear my husband, but this is delayed coming through mm -hmm. on the 
computer. So it's like it's I, it's it's one of those things we haven't. We're gonna get there probably by the end of quarantine and right. all this stuff. Um, we'll get there to that part. But yes. So we're gonna start off with tonight. Um, we're gonna start off with one of our first trivia. We're gonna do one of them. Um, as you know, um, we're dealing with um, all this going on from the the killing of George Floyd um, and the protesting and the riots and just everything coming to the surface of what we have been feeling for a long time. And so um, that's what tonight is about, is about talking us off the ledge. Because how many of us are on the ledge of, you know what, I don't know what to do, but I just, and your emotions are all over the place. Um, even though you may try to ignore it, but when you turn it on, it comes right back. Or you say, I'm good, I'm going to do this. It just comes. And you start thinking over time of all that um, we as the people have to have had to endure um, and still enduring. Um, and it's funny because I did just ask my husband, not, not as my husband, I thought this to myself. I said, Lord, you know, why do we have to go through this? I said, we must go and get something real big and have, <laughs> you know, we just, we must just go find out how um, great we really are, even though we know we're great, but just it must be something as to why we as a people have had to endure this for so long all across the world um and so that has always been a question i had but i just you know you just keep it to yourself and you accept life as the way it is um but now we're tired and we have younger people who are ready you know ready to um go for it you're in my age, you're 50, you know, Jesus. But when you're in my age, you know, being born in the late 60s, you know, by the time I'm five, six, start to reckon, I'm 1975, you know, so mm -hmm. it's, things are a little different, but they're still not good, but it's a little different. So I come up thinking things a little differently or you know, it's, it's just a whole lot. But anyway, it's a lot we're going to delve into tonight. Um, just, just discussing how we really feel. Um, and so, but first, um, we do want to um, do a quick uh, trivia we have tonight. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Shannon, and she's going to do our first trivia tonight. As soon as I find it, but go ahead. Uh, okay. okay, ladies. So this week's trivia questions will all be geared around movies that had to deal with either the civil rights movement or some pivotal point in our history. Um, talked about some kind of controversial issue that was going on within our community. So for the first one, the clue is. This film starring Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan is a powerful story about a civil rights attorney who works to free a black man convicted of murder from death row. Mm, well, that's that's that movie, lady. And it was good, too. You yes, have I it. did watch this one today. Hey, I'm yes, yes. Oh, um, Tisha, Chanel asked that you cut your hair. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, we have a winner. got it first. Deja Spain has it first. Yes, the correct <laughs> answer is just mercy. Deja, see, coming on up. She coming on That's up. Very good. Just mercy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So. That is the answer. Way to go. I have yet to Woo! see it, but I do believe um, they said it was free. Yes. Do you know how long? How long? I think it's a month. I oh, think, okay. I think I read that. Something like um, that. So, good family movie night to watch um, the movie. I heard it was really good. So, yes, yes, yes. Oh, should we do another one? Yeah, we'll do another one. We'll do sure. the next one, Shannon. Sure, let's go for it. Okay. 
All right, ladies, get ready. All right, this film starring Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer is a story of African-American maids working in white households in Jackson, Mississippi during the height of the civil rights movement. That's a good one. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I love movies, so. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Me too, I, this one was a book. All right, Angela. All right, Angela. All right, Angela. Yeah. Yeah, I read the book first before I saw yeah, the movie. Yeah, I did. I read, I read the movie. Before the movie was coming out of the book. Oh, yeah, it must be help. Many in the pie. 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 That's my favorite well, part. She was well, good too. Oh well. <laughs> the face well, is in there. <laughs> you got what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilariously funny. Oh, so I'm sorry, ladies. That was hilarious funny. So we're gonna have, like I said, to mention tonight, we're gonna have discussion. Um, and one of the first questions on our discussion is: is it easier to hate or love? And why? Is it easier to hate or love? Why? Is the question. Ladies, who wants to start answering that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I can go. I think it may be easier to hate because if you know, you hate someone or something, you could just leave it alone. You don't have to put energy in it. You don't have to put time mm -hmm. in it. But when you love someone or something, you know, you give it your all per se. Um, and yeah, you you appreciate it. You take time. You nurture it. But if I hate something, for me, I'm uh, out of sight, out of mind. So right. I think hate is easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chanel says... It's easier to hate because it doesn't take as much work. Mm -hmm. Agree. Yeah, I agree. I think I think part of it that that cliche that it is a thin line because you can switch to that emotion so quickly. Um, as a human, it's just in your human nature. Like if someone wrongs you or something like that, you can get you can turn off, like they were saying, you can just turn off that emotion. And if it's done in a painful way, you can develop some real deep seated hatred. It's like, you, and you, and you that turns into an ugly part of, of what you don't want about hate. So we say it's like, I hate you. You know, we say it in, in jest a lot of times, but when you really do hate something or someone, it can it can tear you apart. So it's easier, it's really an easy emotion to, to switch to. I agree with that. Um, Nima said it's easier to love because you want to be loved. Hmm. Hmm. That's wow. a whole different, yeah. that's a different perspective. Different on it. That's mm -hmm. a whole different perspective. Um is um that's a whole different perspective. Mm -hmm. Because I thought that love would be harder because well, love is a choice to me. Um love is something I choose to do because I um, I choose to do a hate. Um, I think Tamika said it's easier to hate because it's sin. Like we're born in it. Um, is what Tamika said. Um, it's easier to hate because it's sin and we're born in it. But I think hate um, is easy to do because it is opposite of God. You know, it's opposite of God is love. It's opposite of God. And so it's something that when I hate you, I can hate you and it can feel good to hate you. <laughs> um uh, you know, it can feel you know it, you do both, right? So I can kind of say it might be almost equal because yeah. you have to put energy into hating somebody. It's a yeah. choice to hate somebody, it's a choice to love somebody. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's almost equal because you're putting yeah. in effort on both sides. That's my opinion. Aunt Joe says, um, when you get a certain age, um, it's easy. It's easy to love because Oops, I'm sorry. It's because God says, um, so God says that it is. So you, I, I, she's saying, I guess you, I agree, Aunt Joe. Like as you mature in Christ, as you as you start start to get more of Him in you, you would. 
replace some of that emotion because we realize, first of all, I'm agreeing with Lady Paul. The love is not as much as a, an emotion to me as it is a choice. Um, hate is an emotion. I feel. I think that you got you got to kind of turn that on. So love is a choice. You choose to love God. You choose to do what for God. You choose to do what's right. I think you choose to fall in love. You choose to pick who you love. It's all mm -hmm. a choice. And choose so, to maintain love. To maintain love. Because they can do something that you, yeah. that right. you right. hate and then all right. of a sudden it could be I mm -hmm. hate you. Right. Right. But I loved you yesterday. Right. So, right. You know, it's a thin, it's a really thin line there. Um so um Raven says um let me put it up, I'll put it up. Yeah, for me, love, I can't waste my energy on hating people. Wow. Yes. It, it, does take, it does take energy to hate. It takes energy to um, not speak. It takes energy <laughs> to um, plot and plan um, what you can do to get them back. Um, it takes energy. Love, it seems to be easier because if I love you, it won't. it's not work to me. It's not something I dread or what I do. Are we getting some good ones in here? Yeah. Uh, you going to put them up, Dane? Yep. When Tina says, I think it's easier to love because love is who I am. Hate hurts me more than me hating a person because I love hard. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's, that's good. good. That's, that's good. good. Um, Carla, what is Carla? Carla. Carla. You going yep. oh, I'm going Carla. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Both requires a choice because I don't have to do either. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good. Come on, Carla. Come on, Carla. Yeah. I don't have to do either. Woo! Um, Kendra said, hate is a heavier feeling. Hate is taught. Hate is developed. Love can happen naturally. Love flows freely. So true. Mm -hmm. I like that. I just see it as you saying that love can happen naturally. Love flows freely. <laughs> but I some like people that. are hard to love. <laughs> yeah, Even though you try, you try, you try. Some people are so hard to love. Right. And that's true. Yeah. The people that yeah. are hard to love, um, it takes work um, to show that. Um, there's a scripture for that, Marie, but we have Vanessa has said, Minister Vanessa said, agree that it's equal. You have to determine what kind of energy you want dominating you. For me, love is so much easier. It feels better. better. Yes. It does. It does yeah. feel good um, to love. Um, there... I like I'm going to put this one up so we can spark a little conversation because you're about to move into a scripture. No, <laughs> no, no, I wasn't going to. No, no, no. I, wanted to, no, I just wanted to say, you know, because I, I think this is a good one because there are people who probably think like this. She said, y'all pray for me. It's easy for me to hate. She's, you know, this is Deirdre. She said, it's, it's effortless for me. And that's, some people just turn you off. I know that that's, you know, that it's effortless for me too, like to turn you off, to cut you off. So I get that. I get that. Emotion. No, no, hate, hate is easy. I believe that hate. Is, I mean, like we said, we, we said both. We said it was both. Um, so if you guard yourself, and you know, you say if, how you feel, how you feel about loving someone. Sometimes we guard ourselves in that because we know once we give our love to someone and we share our love with someone, that we're open and vulnerable at that. So I tend to hold my love in because when I love, I'm giving all of myself to someone, male, female, mm -hmm. you know, relation, any type of relationship that's easy. But for hate comes easier because then I can cut you off. Mm -hmm. That effortlessly to <clears throat> cut you off and not have to deal with you. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can look at it from that perspective too. I can look at it. But I had a verse now. I can't remember what it, what which one I had based on what we were talking about. Now I can't remember what it was talking, what I said in my head. Oh, I think it was this one. John, first John three eighteen says, "Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions." Mm -hmm. um, and we show our love. It's it's action. It's an action. It's not really just what we say. It's how we how we operate what we do, how we live. Um, and that even goes for those who don't treat us right. Sure. Absolutely. Yep. And and that's the hard part even now in um, what we're going through and what we're seeing 
um, is controlling ourselves to not hate people that don't look like us. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, it's, you know, to say, you know, I hate, you know, my, my son said it the other day, you know, you know, I, you know, I was just like, oh, don't lump all people together. You know, I was, you know, you're trying to say, you know, yes, we have people that are bad and people who don't do right um, in all races. You know, I, you right. know, you're trying to teach that because you can lump it all together. And then that's how it grows um, into you have hatred for all people who do things to hurt you. Um, so, um, Sh Shannon, did you, we all, we all talked about, so. Somebody. Yeah, I think I said, I think I said a, a little bit, but I'm, I'm more, I, I think um, I agree with people that said equally. And um, I also feel like there are some people that my motto is to love the, out of somebody, you know. Oh, you can yeah. say hell. It's okay. No, no, hell. It's be, cool. <laughs> but that's my motto. Is to love. I've met people that would be easy for anybody to hate, and I don't know if you would call it hate as so much as an annoyance that you know that you have with a certain person. But I make it usually my mission for people like that to love the hell out of. And so when you see that I'm flipping the coin and I'm not giving you back the negativity then, you know, you'll come around and eventually say, oh, hey, this this chick ain't going to fall for it, you know, and that's just always been the way that I am. So, you know, that that's how I am. I, I really don't have time for hatred and negativity. So I'm, I'm I think it's it's not easy to love, but I choose like you said, Lady Paula, it's a choice that I make. I choose to love people. Yeah. Um, I like what Jennifer um, said too. Uh, I think it's easier for you to do whichever one you feed the most. If I feed myself the things that make me hate, I'll hate and likewise with love. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. I agree. Um, I agree. I agree. Um, we have some good, I'm loving the responses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um, Alicia said, I'm more dismissive when I'm done rather than hate. Instant numbness. That's so easy for me, but I rather mm. love. Sure. Yeah. I agree. Because I think hate is a strong, mm -hmm. um, a strong word. Um, I think it is. I think that's just a, just a strong, just a strong mm. word. Um, I think like Alicia, or, you know, I instant numbness or, you know, like, Oh, okay, you're not you're not relevant. I don't hate you, but you know, I just may not talk to you anymore. Mm -hmm. um, right. But that's not that's not godly. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not godly behavior. Um, we're supposed to have a you know, we may not be as close as we used to be, um, but that's something we have to work on. I think that's just human nature. You know, not that it's right, but now as we live, we have to try to live as Christ wants us to live, because that's who we represent. Um, when we have committed ourselves, and we're representing him. Mm -hmm. No longer just representing myself, um, we're representing him. Um, Carla said, um, I think I went too fast, Farah, um, about our sin nature. Oh, but that's our sin nature kicking in. I can treat easily treat you the same way you treat me. For sure. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. That's, that's, yeah. That's that's a hard one. Yeah. Because um it's it's almost justifying your behavior. Oh, okay. Well, if that's how you treat me, um, then that's um Okay, we good. That's how we, we this is our agreement. Um, this is how you do, this is how you do me. So that's how. Um, so, but I think hate, that's not what God desires of us. Um, for us to do that and to live that way. Um, I did find some scriptures, ladies, that would, that bless me as um, I was researching and, and looking up um Matthew 5, and it talks about um, how we should treat our enemies. Um, 
In Matthew 5, verses 43 through 44, um, it says, you have heard the law that says, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So the law at that time was saying, you're supposed to love your neighbors, those whom you live with and who are near you or of your same kind, but you're supposed to hate your enemy. Then Jesus comes on the scene and I say, love mm -hmm. your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Then he says in the next verse, in that way, you will be acting as true children of your father in heaven. Give it a slap. <laughs> um, for he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. Because if this way you'll be acting as true children of your father in heaven. And I know, I don't know about you, but I have to always remind myself who I'm representing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have to remind myself that. Um, sure. You know, when we were younger, you know, your mother said certain things. You, you knew certain things. You know, you are a Turner girl. Turner girls do not do that. <laughs> you, know, you are a Turner. You know, so there were things you knew because you were representing your parents. So you thought about things like that, like, Lord... My mother, my father would kill me. You know, those are things that you would think about. But I'm a child of God. And so what I do, I'm be acting as a true child of his. Not like how everybody else. So I'm supposed to act different. Right. And, and it mimics, it really mimics the, the true relationship. Even before we get saved, the natural relationships it was that we had with our parents, the, the perfect example that you just used. When we go out, we represent our homes, we represent, so it's the same, it's the same relationship that you have. And you tend to learn how to, um, like I learned to even coming up, learn to like attach, not attach people's actions to who they were as much as, I just don't like what, I hate what you did. Like my parents would tell me that all the time. I hate what you did, but I'm gonna always love you. And that's the same thing our father does, our father mm -hmm. does. He hates sin. He says it in his word. He hates it, but he always loves us. So if someone does something to us, we hate what we what they did. So let's maybe we can change our language, and you know, as you know, it'll help us. Like Jim was saying, you try, you try to give energy to. So just say, I hate what that person did. I hate, I hate what our president is doing right now. I don't mm -hmm. necessarily hate him. I hate what he is doing, and then that turns the emotion on the action and not the person. That way right. I continually pray for him, even when I, you know, because when, when he first got elected, I was struggling with that to pray sure. for him. Now I don't because I realize that it's not, I want him to be saved too, as much as mm -hmm. I you know, I do. I want him to be saved as well. Or it, I, if he is, I want him to be saved. So that's my two cents. Yeah, the, the next verse says, I mean, Jesus is on a roll with this one. <laughs> love only those who love you. What reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. So and then the corrupt tax collectors, those are people, they were, they were very evil. They did things that were, um, they were just evil. They were evil people. Um, mm -hmm. So if evil people only love those who love them. We're acting just like those who wow. don't know God. Right. I was on a roll. Like I just, I was just like acting like a true child, <laughs> a true child of God. So, then any comments since, since before we? Uh... I like what Kendra said. Um, she said for her, she learned to love somebody even if she doesn't like them. And she's learned to love from a distance for the sake of her own peace. Um, and she hate people, right? So I think that's a good point to make. Like you sometimes do have to love from a distance and it's really for you to be at peace. Yeah, so that you don't bring those negative feelings on yourself. So, sure. Yeah. Really good point. Yeah. I like that to love from a distance because I mean, we're, I, I like that to love from a distance. I say you don't have to I mean you hate them, and mm -hmm. I think somebody else said that it doesn't mean I actually hate um, them, but to to love from a distance for the sake of your own peace um, mm -hmm. and not really hate, and that goes along with what's going on now. 
you know, to help us to, to guard our hearts during this time, um, to look at what's going on from God's perspective and how he wants us to respond to this, um, to help us because our emotions are um, strong um, and they're justifiable emotions. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying that they're not how you're supposed to feel. It's justifiable emotions with all that's going on, all that's been going on for a long time. It's, we have a right um, to feel the way we feel, but what we, what are we doing with these feelings and how are we allowing God and his word to help us through these times? Yeah. Because if we're left to ourselves, left to social media, left to um, CNN, left to watching the news, left to all this stuff, the talk, all that's going around, um, we will be all over the place and our emotions will lead us and they may not lead us in the way that God wants for us to go mm -hmm. individually. Yeah. Individually, because he could tell all of us different things to do how he wants us to operate. So um, individually, so that's a good thing to think about um, as, as we pray during this time, because um, how have you all been feeling, ladies, with what's going on, if you want to share? I think I've been all over the place, right? Like, some days I'm on that verge of hating <laughs> certain people or certain things. Um, and oh. it's always been easy to separate the person from their action. And sort of like you said about Ben, like lumping all people in the same bucket and putting them all in the same bucket has been a little difficult for me over the last few days. Um, but I've been all over the place. Like, okay, I need to act, I need to do something. But then I'm like, but is it really gonna be worth it? It's, I've been everywhere, so. Yeah, it's been a little overwhelming, definitely. And it's kind of like, again, you know, I hate to say it, but right. you know, it's like another one, you know, so. For me, the most has been fear. It's been it's been really deep fear, um, fear for for my ch for my young children that live in my home because they don't think you know on the same. You have young adults. Dana. Young adults. That's what I said. I said that. I mean, what they say I'm just children. messing with you, Dane. I'm messing with you, I mean, Dane. They They're young. They think and they think different, and they you know they have a different philosophy on wor their worldview right. in terms of people. And so I, you know, have, have some real true conversations with them. I have two sons um, who I worry about. Um, you know, yeah, I have two sons that I worry about. So it's it's not fear in the sense of what's going to happen because I'm praying for them and giving them, but I just fear the future for them sometimes because it, it doesn't seem like, um, like I think Jessica was saying earlier today, like she's desensitized and I think I fear for them being desensitized. I fear for them giving up hope because they see life and their life is seen in small movies and spurts. Whereas we have a perspective, their perspective is constant killing, constant. They've seen it back to back to back to back to back. So their hope is not as hopey as mine. Like we're going to get better. You know, we're going to get better. It's going to get there. They don't, they don't feel that right now. So it's hard mm -hmm. to, to translate that in my household because I know I can't, I don't have words for them. Um, and Nina wrote before we go to Shannon. Nina wrote, I have been feeling myself crying more, and then I just pray and try to think of what positiveness is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, and I, and, I, and I go ahead, go ahead, Shannon. I think, I think I feel a lot like Nina. I'm just praying for the positivity. I'm such a non confrontational person anyway, so I really don't like to see the controversy that's taking place. I don't, you know, I'm, you know, I know it's not feasible to say, can we all just get along? But, you know, that's the kind of person that I am. So I've been, I really try to avoid as much as I can looking at it, you know, as much as I can. I don't like to turn the news on a lot because I don't want to hear the negativity. But, you know, like Dana, I have young adults in my house who are very much aware of what's going on. And, you know, my oldest son is like, you know, burn it down. He's like, you know, 
they'll be all right. You know, these are the people with all the money, the powers that be, they have everything, but it, he really wants some action to be taken. So I find myself paying more attention to it and trying to be intentional about, you know, trying to talk to my kids and just educate them on the way that we are going to have to go about, right. you know, bringing change. Right. So that's, right. that's kind of where I find myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Raven put up, I've been feeling angry lately, mainly because I don't know how to prepare my son mm -hmm. for this world. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And you know, that, that is a hard, um, part about when you do have younger sons um because you're you're teaching them now how to to be and then they're seeing all this and they're hearing all this and then how you want them to be um you know it's it's, it's very interesting um and like i said i have i have a son who's very um vocal um in nature i mean i remember when he was he had to be like three, four, and the police officer pulled us over. Um, and my husband's truck, you know, with the tinted windows and the, the windows in the back, and the police officer then was all like, "What is he doing? Why the police officer?" I mean, he, I mean, he was like three or four, and it was just like, then you know, his father trying not to go, like, oh, the man had the flashlight looking in the back where Ben was. So you know, it was just like. Um, and I was like, how can I help him um, in, in how he's feeling? Because he's very black or white um, mm -hmm. in everything. It's, it's either that way or that, it's one or the other. If you're not that way, then um, over to the top. And so I have been um, trying, I'm a person of action. So I want to know what can I do? So, mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not a person that's gonna get out there and march because it's just not not that I won't. Like I said, I would, but then I'm then all I all I need to do is see one person do something stupid to you know not not a person but an authority. Then I'm just gonna be going off and you know. So I'm like, hey, for me, I probably need to, you know, because I know me. I'll be like, why are you? You know, I'm, I'm just gonna be trying to negotiate. You know, not really negotiating, but I'm gonna be fussing because I know me. That's just so. I'm just like, but I need action. I need, need steps as to what I can really do to make a change. What What can I do? I need somebody to direct me. So mm -hmm. that's really what I've been praying about and what I'm seeing. Um, and so it's it's just been a lot. I've been thinking about how to, to talk talk to my child, how to talk mm -hmm. to anybody. I think about every time somebody goes out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think I said it, I don't know if I said it here, but I said it before where I think about things I cannot do as a black person. Mm -hmm. Things I want to do. I want to try, I want to travel cross country in a car. I thought I no, I don't want to really do that, but I want to be able to stop wherever I want to stop. You want to go, right. So like if I'm driving, like, oh, we want to stop here. Oh, that would be so nice to look at. But then I have this fear of what if, where am I? You know, oh, it's so many people you know, that don't know who I am. Um, no. Or, you know, it's just, it's just too much. It's just too much goes through your head. So I have been like trying to say, what can I do? Um, Kendra, one of our um, young adults, oh, we have several young adults on here today, um, which I'm loving. Um, Kendra, which I don't think is going to fit on all of here, but <laughs> I think you did it. Mm -hmm. It did. It did fit. Okay. I've been heated. I've given myself space to cry. I constantly take the time to regroup, pray, and worship for some peace. But I am extremely radical. And when I get on social media and I see how people are responding, I get angry all over again. Twitter adds a whole new perspective of what is going on that other social media sites do not display. Mm -hmm. It does. It true. does, Kendra. It really does. Yep. yep. That's so true. Um, we have some. Um, we have Grandma Kelly. Uh, Kelly says, and I love your. I love your. Uh, your uh, profile pic. Thank you for that. Um, Kelly says, I don't want my grandson to go away to college. I can't protect him there. Um, I just I just have some anxious feelings, but I really know 
I must fully trust God for his care. And that's that's a real feeling to it, a real emotion of protection. We're like I feel that I feel that Kelly a lot. Oh, Deirdre says, it's been interesting in our house. I am the mother of a young sister soldier who heavily influences her young sister. <laughs> I have to keep her calm and at peace. I'm also praying mightily for the safety of our two sons who are ready to get everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I think we probably got colder. So, yeah, so we basically, I think she did. I saw her when she froze, but I didn't see her looking down. So she had to look back up. So you will keep the conversation going. I'll add her back. She'll pop herself back into stream. But I think she's coming back in now. Yeah, it's definitely scary having, you know, having those those young adult males in your household that are going in and out by there by themselves every day. And I remember my oldest son, who will be 21 in November, um, sharing a story with me and his dad. And we had no idea until he decided to share with us that he was out. Um, he used to sing with a, a gospel go-go band and they were either on their way to a gig or coming home from a gig. And his, the, a friend of his who was riding with him is blind. Um, and so he wears the dark glasses all the time. And so my son was driving and he said he wasn't speeding anything, but was pulled over by the police still, still to this day, don't know why, but just because, well, he knows why, but you know, riding in the car and he sees these two young black guys in this car and he gets pulled over and, you know, they're, they're upset. You know, they realize the injustice that's going on and they do, they want to do something about it. Yeah. And the yeah. conversation, you know, in every household is what we're having, you know, you as um, mature parents and you're learning, you teach them how to, and, and the, the, the conversation that's turned in my household is we do all the right things and we still are getting, and, you know, so we're trying like Paula was saying, lady Paula was saying, we're getting to where we now have to teach them action. We have to mm -hmm. teach them safe action. Cause I've, you know, I live in a, in a very quiet neighborhood. And so, um, I've had the police called on my sons. I've had them have had the police called on my sons at 12 wow. o'clock. Like, I'm asleep. I live across the street from a pond and they're out with their friends or they come home, they're sitting out on somebody's car and I see the sirens. I look out my window and they have my children sitting on the curb. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Neighbors have called the police on my children. So I get it. But the conversation is you always be respectful and, and pray, thank God that my kids are, are very respectful. My yeah. sons are very respectful. Yes. But there are, that's not even enough anymore. So we're sure. to action. We're going to action. We have to vote. We have to you know, we have to teach our kids those things instead of just hands up, don't shoot. Let's, you know, let's say that know your Fourth Amendment. We have to move, move from there now because protests and all of that is. We want to move into that conversation later, but all of those things are. It's, it's not either or. It's both and. We can do. Mm -hmm. all we can do all of it. So. Yeah, I think um, I'm sorry, ladies. My internet seems like every time this time it goes out. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Never happened before. It's the second week, but um, it's it's very interesting, and I think we just have to trust God. Um, and we have to trust Him. Um, we have to trust Him, and we have to stay connected to Him and His Word, um, because that is only what's going to give us that peace that's going to give us that comfort. And, it's, and God's going to be able to take those emotions that we're feeling, um, those things that he, because all of us feel something different in different ways, but how he wants to use us in this time. Because you, you're going to come into contact with people, even now at the store, even now everywhere, you're looking at people suspect. And it's like, I have to stop myself because I live in a, a neighborhood that's multicultural. Um, you know, and so it's it's like, okay, Lord, help me in what you want me to do, what you want me to say. Um, and I think now it's at the forefront where something across the country where we haven't seen in a while. Um, we may have seen protests in the area where something may have happened, but mm -hmm. now it's all over um, the country. Um, it will be it will be great um, as we keep you know as long as we don't lose momentum. The key is not losing momentum. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's something we have to right. keep. Um, 
because, and then we have to pray for our young adults. These young adults who do have this passion, who do feel this way, we have to pray Amen. for them to use wisdom and have direction. Not to say for you to stay home and do nothing. Nobody is ever, I mean, we may want you to because we love you and we want you to stay protected. That's the only reason why. I want you to stay here so I know that where you are and nothing's happening to you right here. <laughs> you know, but absolutely the reality is that's not um they have to they have to navigate through this world yeah um, and yeah. so we have to pray that we give them the tools so mm -hmm. they can navigate but then also give them the tools of the word of god so that they know his voice they know to hear um to to move or to get out of dodge when something is about to break off you know just what to do um um, I think that's very what well, where we are today. Um, Jennifer says, I'm glad that more people are speaking out for and about our people. I'm sick by the ignorance of many who don't want to understand our struggle. struggle. I just want to be a part of the solution. We have to plan our next move. Amen. Yep. Um, Amen. Agree. Yep. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, I agree. And I'm um, and whether or not they're going to understand, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know if they're going to understand. Um, I don't know. And if they, you know, I don't know. You know. But the key is now that we're is being vocal, and something has to change. Um, so we're going to go into our next trivia, and then we're going to go to our next question. Back to what you start this um, love. Okay, my aunt Josephine had a um, comment. I have to um, listen to my elder. Um, my aunt Josephine says, I know you don't want to hear this, but we need to go back to what you started on this Zoom love. God's love is the answer. And I'm doing this because we're probably happy. That's All right, Aunt Joe. Finish it on that. And we can move to the trivia because it's been All said. All right, Aunt Joe. Yes. 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 Go back to it. Let's circle back to it. We can have yes. these mic drops. You are drop. right. <laughs> and that's what we wanted. But I wanted to acknowledge that we do have emotions that we're feeling. We have them. And I don't mm. want to discredit them or that you shouldn't feel your emotions, but how to handle those emotions God's way. And God's love is the answer and yes. his word. Yes, Aunt Jo. Boo. Yes. Thank you, Aunt Jo. She was her she finger was my, and all. She was, my first, she was my Sunday school teacher, so I remember when I was younger. <laughs> young she was our Sunday yes, school Aunt Jo. She's been yes, bringing me for a Aunt long Jo was time. our Sunday school teacher. Yeah, so... <laughs> We have our turn it back over to Shannon. <laughs> Shannon for our next trivia. All right, here we go, okay. lady. Okay, let me. Okay. The heartwarming story of Cecil Gaines, played by Forrest Whitaker, who is a servant in the White House for 34 years. Name this movie. Come on, you got it. Oh, 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 yeah, I had to think about this for Shannon. I, <laughs> I know it, but I actually never really took the time to watch it. Okay, okay, don't be, I'll be going on. <laughs> actually, I'm not, did they, no. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> uh, Kendra got it. <laughs> This is the bachelor. All right. <laughs> I, 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 I know what she meant, though. I know but she she meant. Meant. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> Oops, I got you. But the Kendra. 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 Yeah. Kendra. The yes, butler. Daniels, the butler. The space of yes. winning, too. I wouldn't even say the space of winning today. Yeah. They, 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 watch, they watch 12, 14 movies a day, girl. They give you the movies for Christmas. They are movie people over at the space. Oh, they're movie people. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, so let's go I'm on. To <laughs> okay. Uh, this one. Last one. This the movie was released in 2014 starring David Oyelowo. Is based on the 1965 March for Voting Rights led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Now, y'all should get down. Never do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I want to sing on. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> I know the song. I know. It's, a, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know. I'm going to sing it. I'm going to sing it once they guess it. Okay. Come on. Come on. Who's that? Again? 
Jenny. Jenny, Jenny went every week. <laughs> she got fast fingers. She be getting it. She wins. She does. She knows. Yeah, it does. You come on, you tan, and y'all come on in and sing the whole tune. Yeah. What song is it? What song is Glory. it? Glory. Oh, yeah. John Legend. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Or did they just get nominated? I don't know. But she said, I've, I've never seen it. That is your homework, man. I think it's on Hulu. Why? Jenny, the, Jenny, Jenny, you, Jenny, the, Jenny, the, Jenny, 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 Jenny
and, and it will when it's organized. When it's organized, mm. it, it breaks off and it's really groundbreaking and grassroots because where this started in Minneapolis, you know, because we get it every time. They have it all the time anyway. But one of the um, activists in Minneapolis who was on the news and she was so eloquent and she was powerful and passionate. But one of the things she said was what we have to do is when you're telling the people to like if like Philando Castile, for instance, um, like if AutoZone, like he got killed in his car. So her, mm -hmm. her thing was maybe we should, AutoZone should have came out and did a whole campaign with, you know, less people who ride in their cars, you know, just to do something. So everybody has to join together from the businesses to the right. community, to the people. It has to be a collective effort so that it is organized enough that um, it doesn't pop off into looting and all of those things. And we have to be concerted. We have to be organized. And that's when they call you were talking earlier about a leader. I don't necessarily know we need to have a particular leader because we can have multiplicity of leaders who have these grassroots efforts and then organize. You know, like we look maybe we're looking for a grand leader, but if we teach, we start here and little fires start to pop off. And I'm not talking fires in a literal sense, I'm just talking about. You get 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, and we do a concerted effort and we tell your business, we're not going to patronize you if you don't open up your mouth and send something or put something on your door or put something in your window. We may not patronize you and then we have to stick to it. We have to be um, very concerted and then that's when it will it'll, it'll be effective. Um, Carla is um, stated, this economic is like protests nuts. can be very effective. We need to hit them where it hurts we spend a lot of this money, a lot of money in this country, especially in port, sports and entertainment. Then she said, actually, we spend it everywhere. Yep. Stop buying designer clothes, purses, things, things that aren't made for a I man. I'm saying, you know, we spend, we start keeping our wallets closed. As Jennifer says here, we're hurting everything. Mm -hmm. um, and that's true. That, that's normally when it hurts the pockets change occurs um, yeah. and we know that when it hurt, hits the pockets of those in um authority or those businesses or those things like that um change does come um and then if we all if we all get on one accord to whatever our goal is um i think you know like i said we can have leaders all over as dana said you know um i just need action so our yeah. question was what can we do um so we there's so many things going on. Um, I didn't hear the Twitter response, but um, I know there's a lot of information on there um, because different age groups on different social media platforms is really what we're seeing too. So um, what can we do? Um, there's so many things. We, we do have to start voting. Um, we need to get um, some of these people that have been in office for ever um we oh, have too many changes they're making changes right they're not they're not change. right they're not right. affecting change they're not doing anything they've just been in there because people don't vote um they vote they vote for presidential election um but we we vote and and i can admit from being even younger going when you first learned to vote you say all this stuff you don't even know what you're voting for um no education no anything so now we need to be knowledgeable about who we vote for why we're voting for them getting you know people who are involved around our um goals um and things that will affect change they may not necessarily have to be a christian um and sometimes we vote along those lines i heard he was a believer that doesn't mean anything um the big scheme of things but really about chain about goals about what we're looking what you're looking for in um leadership so that the laws can be changed um so that's across the country voting locally the local elections all of that um so that's um i think coming out of this is something we really can look into um what is was another thing we said you could do um support you can black business support black businesses um support yes be supportive um from clothing to everything you know anything you can get done um supporting um black businesses um also you can be involved in protests there's nothing wrong you know 
marching peacefully and being wise um, in the different groups you're marching with and going for in goals and getting involved in, in groups that um, are on for what for for change. Right. Not just for certain agendas, but for change in the system all around. Um, <laughs> but there's so many things out. You have to weigh it. Um, yeah. I think I mentioned it them. I blacked out yesterday, but I didn't know what I was blacking out for. Right, right. <laughs> I, didn't know. I just saw it on the thing. Everybody was doing this. Oh, it was black stream. I was like, hey, so somebody tell me what is Black Art Tuesday. You know, I had to go search for more information. I got different things, different places. So I was like, okay. I don't even know why I did it, but I did it, you know. So <laughs> that's finding out what you're doing so you can be um, effective. Did I miss anything? Yeah. Yeah, no, you you said it right. I think the last, what just to piggyback really quickly, there is no wrong way, but do it, find something, but no. you don't have to knock it. No, I'm just saying not to criticize the way somebody else chooses to do it. You know, like if they're not protesting and you are okay, that's fine. Right. If they are staying home and they're choosing to pray, okay, that's fine. If they are just signing a petition or getting something done, that's fine. If they just want to just just make sure that we're not, you know, attacking each other on social media and stuff like that, or hitting each other up saying, well, you ain't doing it this way, so that's wrong, and you're not doing it this way. But we all know what we want to do, but just let people operate in the lane that they want to operate in so that it always is positive. I think that that's a good way to make action actionable. Yeah, yeah. And I said, you have to do what's work. Like I said, what works for you. Um, Kendra said we can donate to bail funds and aid. Yes, I think I know what's one thing. Thank you, Kendra. Um, mm -hmm. Signs and okay. mission. Um, we can, like you said, buy black, support black art. Um, I think Tim Tina put up, we need to do research on all businesses. Um, also, is that my internet moving like that? Also support more, um, black businesses. Um, so I think cause, um, Chanel put up, she's invested in black businesses, got poor services. I mean, that can happen in any, I mean, we know that, but I think you have to do your research. Um, check with somebody who may have used them, you know, or anything. I think that's an all thing. I mean, I do that for everybody. Like, oh, Dana, who don't work at your house? Are they good? But it's mm -hmm. also, you know, mm -hmm. they were good with me. Okay. Um, I think it's also important, though, that when we talk about supporting Black business, we also keep in mind that our people don't necessarily have all the resources that other big businesses have. Um, and also trying to find a way to give them feedback that's constructive to help them get better will also help them grow, right? So not just being immediately dismissive of them, but providing some type of feedback um, that can help them do better, right? right. right. Everybody, everybody doesn't always know everything that they're doing wrong that's turned off a customer. True. So yeah. And we need to figure out how we can give it to them in a way that they can receive it. Not going off on them, of course, but finding a gentle way to say, hey, your business, I supported you. I didn't get this. And here's a way that you could probably improve this. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. I think that's really, I think that's really good. I think a lot of times we don't take the time to be like, oh, you know what? Okay, you did a, you know, job was great, but you know, it took you five months mm -hmm. to fix my job. <laughs> Why did it take you? You know, um, you can't. You're not going to be successful like. <laughs> like <laughs> you know. um, and you know, I mean, it's true, but we tend to talk. I mean, I had the only reason why I say that because I'm looking at my drywall where the guy did this drywall. And he never came back. But then he passed away. So you know, I was oh, like, you know, what, Lord, oh, he you know, he did, he did pass away. But anyway, but I'm just saying, like, but I didn't call him when I was like, I was just like, you know, I'm just not fooling with him. He just ain't come back. But I should have, you know, take, you know, like, okay, so what? You you never come back and fix my wall? Come on, man, you gotta come fix, fix this wall. This wall you? you know. Just, you know, to encourage them, you know what, you can't, right. this is forbidden. I can't even recommend you now to nobody. Uh -huh. People right. I have to recommend, right. if you do good work here, I'm going to tell everybody about sure. what you've done. You know, I'm going to share everything about it. Um, you know, don't be like people used to be with hairstylists. 
Um, I know back in the day, people wouldn't tell people about their hairstylist because they didn't want everybody coming to it. You know, so it was just like, oh, where you get your hair at home? You know, they wouldn't tell. You know, like, you know, you're going to mess up my business because I didn't want nobody to you to get your hair done. Um, but we have to be open. We have to share um, and also help one another. Mm-hmm. If somebody doesn't know, a lot of times they don't have the business sense. So they may not know you need to get some cards. Or they may not know you need to write me up an estimate and then we agree on this price. And then if anything changes, you know, they may not know. Um, it just all depends. So we have to help every um, help each other out. So this was great discussion, ladies. Are we talking mm-hmm. off the ledge into action at least? Yes, I love it. Least, yeah. At least, at least. Um, and I just, just want to close with, we have to stay close to God. God is the only one that's going to heal our broken hearts, that's going to dry our tears, um, that's going to comfort us, give us strength um, to move forward and to go on. He's always going to give us the wisdom as to what to do and to what not to do. Um, and Romans 8, 18, I think, um, says, yet we know that the suffering of this present time, that is the King New King James Version I just read in my out loud, but the New Living Translation says, yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. Amen. It's going to get Amen. I mean, I'm sure our Amen. forefathers, our grandfathers, our grandparents, Amen. and so forth, saying now, you know, it was it's nowhere near as bad. So what we're saying is bad now, it's going to be better later. Yeah, it has it. to be better that's later. Um, so we just hope in that. I trust yeah. God in that. I have to. If not, I would be miserable. Amen. Yes. And we yeah. have trust and hope in him. And that's what we have to take all these emotions to. Um, so I'm going to ask Shannon to close us out in prayer. Um, so we can go to prayer. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night, Shannon. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you for another day, Lord God. We thank you for a day that we've never seen, Lord God, and that we'll never see again, God. We thank you for just keeping us, Lord God, up until this time, God. We thank you for the moments that we've shared, Lord God, this last hour. We thank you for everything that was shared, Lord God, for every woman, Lord God, that viewed this this evening, Lord God. I pray right now, God, that that, that something was done, Lord God, to touch somebody's heart, Lord God, that somebody was talked off the ledge and into action tonight. God, we thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing in our lives, Lord God. We ask that you continue to guard our hearts, Lord God. Keep our emotions, Lord God. Allow us to love, Lord God, more, Lord God, just, just through you, Lord God. Just give us the love that we need, Lord God, to love each other, Lord God, and love others, Lord God, to get through these difficult times, Lord God. We don't know what the answer is, Lord God, but you do. And so I pray right now for every woman under the sound of my voice, Lord God, that you would be everything that we need, Lord God, that you would continue to draw us closer to you, Lord God. And that you would just just be in the midst of all of our situations, Lord God. Cover our households, Lord God, our families, our spouses, our children, Lord God, our careers, Lord God, our jobs, Lord God, our dreams, Lord God. Just be in the midst of everything it is that, that you have for us, Lord God. And we'll continue to give your name all the glory, honor, and the praise. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, Amen, ladies. Well, we um, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. So you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Have fun. And we'll see you guys on Sunday. Sunday. Worship. Yeah, Sunday is worship at 9 a.m. And next Wednesday, we'll be back. Amen. See you guys out. Bye-bye. Yes, Warriors out. As Jessica says, Warriors out. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Let me. <laughs> <laughs>